Good morning internet. It is 9.30 in the morning and a welcome back to the channel. Welcome here in Abidjan and well I have some good news. So I arrived late last night here and this morning I get a message that the temperature sensor that I ordered arrived in Abidjan now. So the timing is absolutely impeccable. So I now have called a, well they, they have Yan Go here which is kind of like an Uber. So I'm just waiting for this Uber to take me to the FedEx office to pick up my parcel. So that is a good news. And also the place where I'm staying, they are really well connected. So they've already made some phone calls for me. And um, they told me that they know the best mechanic in town. Like everybody who has a serious problem with a motorcycle, he can fix it. So <laughs> he's actually gonna come here to the hotel uh, to have a look at Alaska. Um, at 11 so I have an hour and a half to get the sensor then he's coming here then of course I still need to organize new clutch plates um, but I'll see if you know if it will be quicker to I don't know if they can source Honda parts here or whether I will have to contact again the Dutch dealership in the Netherlands to send me uh, the parts I'll see about that um, is this my Uber? Yes, this is it. Yeah. This is my Uber, young girl. Hello! Step one is complete the parcel with the sensor. Uh, so now I'm quickly gonna go back and then meet the mechanic. And then I still have to arrange new clutch blades. Um, but yeah, let's first uh, go back. <laughs> Woo, woo, woo. Dix, yeah. Dix, Dix, Ambriage. Dix, Ambriage. Flush. Yeah. 
So the clutch is absolutely completely destroyed. Um, many small parts. There's a lot of dirt all just all over the engine because of the broken clutch. Uh, I'm gonna need an entire new clutch assembly. I'm gonna open the engine further to check everything else if the rest is okay. Um, but yeah, one thing is for sure, the clutch is completely destroyed. I already knew that, but um, yeah, seeing all the broken parts inside is uh, a little confronting. Ou est ça latéral Après To put on top, yeah. Yeah, ok. Ok, donc... Ok, donc... The parts arrived, the parts arrived. So Adamo is now coming to pick me up. Then we're gonna go back to where Alaska has been sitting uh, all apart and then uh, yeah, going to put everything back together. So I'm excited because, well, finally we're gonna put her back together uh, and I'm also obviously nervous at the same time because it's all uh, a little bit scary seeing Alaska all uh, in pieces again. But uh, yeah, I just have to have faith that it's all gonna be fine. Alamo is a really good mechanic, so I do have a lot of faith in him. But yeah, let's hope that I have all the right parts. Everything is there that needs to be replaced. It should be, but hey. So yeah, just fingers crossed it's all gonna be fine. Um, just waiting for him to get here now. So besides the parts for the engine, I finally now also kind of took the opportunity to change my airbox. Uh, remember my little airbox problem in Morocco and Ramdan in Back in the day, he fixed it really well, but the problem was, which I knew for a long time, but I couldn't do anything about it, is that probably those holes in the airbox were actually caused because this little mud guard got completely ripped off. And this mud guard is supposed to protect my suspension from rocks and mud and all of that. So I've been wanting to have my mud guard back for a long time. But I just didn't have the opportunity because I knew I would have to have a new airbox to be able to mount this one on it again. But now I, th I figured I have to get parts anyway. Alaska is all open, so I might as well now change the airbox so I can mount this mudguard again, especially with all the mud. Uh, it's not really great if that's gonna yeah, get stuck kind of like in between my rear shock all the time. So yeah, there's a couple of other things that I also want to do now. The spokes on the rear wheel are lo <laughs> pretty loose. So we're just going to give Alaska like a full check over now anyway. Ah, more pieces. On paye Awaji avec 100 francs là. On fait billet.
Well, Alaska's engine seems to be back together. They did that actually quite fast. It took them like two hours to put everything back together. Now we just need to put her heart back. New. Like eh? new, yes. <laughs> It was time to change the brake pads on the front as well, as you can see. calling it a day uh, we can't finish everything today but Alaska started they have done so much work today put back the entire engine everything put everything back and uh, yeah she's running well um, we've checked the fan also comes on after a while again so the new sensor seems to be working properly um, we're gonna take the rear wheel uh, away to balance it uh, because some of the spokes were pretty loose so the rear wheel needs to be balanced again. Uh, ah, I knew this, I was like wobbling a little bit, but at the time it seemed like one of the smaller problems. But now we're gonna take care of that as well. Um, oh, and the new airbox is in. And that, that was actually also a big thing because it's quite a lot of work to get to the airbox. And now, and now you can see I have my mud guard again protecting my rear shock. So I'm really happy with that. See that is mounted over here and that was broken off on my old airbox. So yeah, it is five o'clock now, so it is time to uh, to go. And uh, we'll come back, uh, I believe tomorrow they have another uh, job. So we'll come back after two days and uh, fix Alaska. That's right. Adamo already took Alaska for a test ride. Now it's my turn. Let's see how she runs. Oh! <laughs> That's a whole new feeling! Messi. All feels a bit different. Yeah, you can hear the my navigation mount is vibrating because my tablet's not there. Oh! <laughs> you have no idea how good this feels. Alaska. Oh, this feels amazing. 
And you must tell me honestly in the comments, when you saw them taking apart the engine, did you think that at the end of the video I'd be riding like this again? <laughs> uh, it's, it's always nerve wracking to see the engine in a thousand pieces. But um, it's just my clutch lever is a little bit inwards. I'd like to have that a little bit more out. So this is how they, so there's been an incident and then they, they've left the cars and then they've drawn, I don't know if you see that, they've drawn on the tarmac the position of the cars and then left it abandoned. It seems a bit random. If we can bend it a little outward, ah, okay, okay. it's very in, so it's a okay, okay, okay. little out. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this very loose. Un peu, un If we can put it a little bit more outwards, away from the bike, because now with my boot it's hard to shift gear. Si nous pouvions le mettre un peu plus à l'extérieur du vélo, car maintenant avec ma botte, okay. il est difficile de changer de vitesse. Okay, okay. On va éviter la main. And this one, um, there is a lot of play on the clutch lever. Translation. Il y a beaucoup de jeux sur le levier d'embrayage. Yeah. Mm, pour ça? Yeah. Oui. Motors, c'est bon? Engine. Engine is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I'm> good. <laughs> it's because that one got bent before when I fell with the bike on the left side. C'est parce que celui-là s'est plié avant quand je suis tombé avec le vélo. Wow. Ah, ok, je sais. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> c'est ça, il demande si tu n'es pas yeah. tombé. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. La vie. La vie. Il est là. 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 Il est Alaska is clean. Washed and clean. Au revoir. <laughs> Ciao. Back to the 
place where I'm staying. Sorry for the noise of my mounds. I'm just gonna go stop at the bank and uh, get some uh, more cash out because I have almost no more cash. Um, yeah, this one. Messi. Oh, that didn't work. That's already the third bank. <laughs> that doesn't work. It's a. Uh, a reoccurring issue with all these ATMs that I don't know are not working. I'm gonna try this one. This also is not working. Well, I'll have to do it then uh, another day or something. Honda. Uh huh. Anglais, <laughs> Anyway, my mission to get cash out is uh, not your problem for today. <laughs> I think uh, the main thing is, of course, that Alaska is riding. They did a fantastic job. I'm super happy. Adamo really is a very, very good mechanic. And actually also the two helpers that were there were also really good. So this couldn't have gone any better. The only thing that I'm still a little bit concerned about is if there is not any like tiny pieces of metal still in the engine. They cleaned it pretty well um, with, uh, with fuel, with petrol. But I hope there's nothing left. I'm gonna do an early oil change in a few thousand kilometers to make sure and check up on the oil filter and such. But um, right now that's my only concern other than that uh, i think uh, everything is good and i am on the road again which is obviously the main thing it feels so good to <laughs> have my own transportation again and continue the journey really so yeah um, that was it for today i hope you liked this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up Subscribe down below and then I'll see you in the next video.